guys, so today's video is going to be a review on the new Maybelline foundation. It is their new Better Skin Foundation Skin Transformation. So it looks something like this. I did see this at my local Ulta. Since I work at Ulta, I saw this at the back and I was like, oh my gosh. I have to get it because if you guys didn't know, my Holy Grail foundations are the Maybelline Fit Me Man Pro List and then the Dewy and Smooth one also. I love combining those two together because they make an awesome combination for me because I have dry skin. If you guys want more information on it, I will have it list down below for you guys. It's part of my June favorites, so don't forget to check that out if you guys haven't yet. But this foundation claims that it's supposed to make your skin look better within three weeks while using it. And it also says that it's oil-free and it has an SPF of 15, which is really good for the skin if you're going to wear this outside. So I'm just going to start off with like the pro and then the con of it, what I like and what I don't like, so that you guys know what I think about this foundation. It's just a little background of my skin if you guys are new to my channel welcome don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't yet but i have really dry skin i usually would say normal to dry skin i'm not like super 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 dry to the point where you know i'm gonna cry but in the winter i do get really really dry but i would say that my driest part of my face is around my nose area and i do have a lot of redness around that area so i don't have any oily skin or anything i have normal to dry dry skin okay so this foundation has a pump which i really like uh, i'm sorry if it's like super messy because i just got done using it for this tutorial so if you guys haven't seen this tutorial i'll also link down in the description box for you guys but this foundation has a pump which i really like because their maybelline fit me one did not have a pump and that thing can be really messy because i usually just like spill it on my arm and then just put it on my face and sometimes it can make a mess and you usually just start wasting foundation after a while because it becomes so messy so i like the fact that this has a pump i actually really really want to keep the pump just so that I can stick it into one of the Maybelline Fit Me ones. But the thing that bugs me about this is that the name of the foundation shade is on the cap, I believe. And it comes off. So I already peeled mine off. I don't even know what color I am. And I'm lucky enough that I still have the color at the back here. But once I peel this little tag off, it's not going to be there I'm, anymore. So. Just a reminder, I am a NC2025 in MAC. And this is natural beige. And it matches me perfectly. As you guys can see, it matches my neck really well. I might have to go a little bit tanner once I start self-tanning. But this is a pretty accurate shade. I'm pretty surprised that I actually really match this. So the pro about this foundation is that it is very full coverage. And it gives you this really nice, you know, like natural skin looking finish. Like it gives you this nice full coverage. I'll insert like a demo around here somewhere. But then I do notice that like around my nose area, it covered most of the redness. And I like that. But the thing that really bugs me about this foundation is that that's the only positive thing about this foundation. The rest really sucks. So one thing that I don't like about this foundation is that it's super hard to blend. I use my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki to blend out the foundation and it is so hard. I feel like the foundation is super dry and it's not as dewy or liquidy as the Fit Me one. And I just don't like it because it just really, it, it's really hard to blend. And by the time I know it, it's already dried up and I have to work really fast. And I'm not the type of person that likes to work really fast with foundation that's dry really fast like that so if you're not a fan of you know dry foundation or anything like that don't go for this I like my consistency to be pretty liquidy so this wasn't a really good go for me and then another thing that I did not like about this foundation is that since it did say like super stay you know better skin and everything it did not feel like skin to me when I put this on my face it is the most heaviest foundation I've ever worn in my entire life like literally it felt heavier than my L'Oreal infallible pro matte foundation which I did not like and I'll list that down in the description box for you guys too if you guys want to check that out and the lightest foundation that I've ever worn in my life is the fit me one and also the covergirl 301 foundation this foundation is super heavy I feel like my face is caked when I have it on especially in the summer right now the weather is hot here and I just don't feel like this foundation is right for you know those people who want like a really light feeling to their face I'm not a fan of those foundation that I can feel on my face I like you know to buff in my foundation really nicely to the point where I can't feel anything and this is really impossible to do so that's why I don't like this another thing is that since it claims to be super stay it's 
not a super sale at all. I tried it with the primer. I tried it with my Hangover RX, my Smashbox, my Professional, and literally when I touch my face, it will come off on my hand. Like I have it on my hand right now. If I could zoom in and show you guys, but like me just touching my nose, it already came off and that's a bummer because in the summer once you start sweating throughout the day and you want to like wipe your head or something like that you know it's gonna come off and that's one thing I don't like about this when it claims to be a super stay foundation when it's really not and I'm really surprised that a transfer and this is the first foundation ever that I've noticed any transfer on my clothes another thing that I do not like about this foundation is that it clings onto my nose area where I have the most dry spots so I'm just gonna zoom you guys in really quick here and as you guys can see it's really like crusty around here and usually I don't have a problem with any other foundation if I use my Smashbox primer water and that's what happened and yeah so I really think this foundation is a boohoo I do not like it I wish Maybelline could do a better job because their other foundations are amazing I love them I'll repurchase them they're one of my holy grail foundations but this one I just don't think it's the best for dry skin because it clings to the smallest spots of my face especially just like the small pores that aren't really noticeable and I figured that it cleans a lot around my nose area and then it also gets really cakey throughout the day. If you have oily skin you might actually like this because a dry formula might work good for you because you already have oily skin so it might be easier for you to blend in rather than for me to do it but I really think if you're oily I would just stay away from it just because it does transfer and if you're an oily person it will transfer probably worse than you know a dry person that has dry skin. And another thing that I also want to mention is that when I have this foundation on and I set it with the powder I don't know what it is but it's so complicated for me to put makeup on top of it so for example when I was doing this tutorial to give you guys like a demo of the foundation that I was gonna wear I had such a hard time putting on my bronzer my highlight everything contouring I was just like out of it I was so mad that this foundation did this to me I think I'm the only one that hates this foundation right now I'm actually gonna return it because I still have the original receipt and I'm so disappointed in it and I really really love Maybelline truly it's one of my favorite drugstore you know brands but this one just didn't work for me it's just so hard to pack on products when you have it on and when it sets in all right, so that is my thoughts for the foundation. Now I'm gonna talk about the concealer, the Better Skin Concealer. So this concealer is a doe foot applicator. Okay, someone just need to stop texting me. But this is a doe foot applicator. I got the color light. It is a little bit too light for me. I have it under my eyes right now, so you guys can see that. I do have like a huge highlight under my eyes. But this is the same, you know, ingredients, oil free. It's a concealer and a corrector in one. And the consistency really reminds me of the Fit Me concealer, but it sucks. The reason why I say that is because if you set it with the powder, it will cake up. And it will look really, really disgusting. I'm just going to zoom in to show you guys how gross it is. Like, I don't know if you guys could tell, but my under eye has so many blotchy spots on it that I do not like it. This has never happened to me with any concealers at all. Even when my Maybelline Fit Me one, even when my MAC Pro Long Concealer, it has never happened to me before. I've been using my Anastasia Banana Powder to set in all that concealer and it never creased on me. But this one... It creases like crazy. It gives me this blotchy look on my on my skin. And literally, if I just rub it like this, it's going to come off. Trust me, you guys. It's just going to come off like that. It's like this sticky consistency that will rip right off if you try to smear it. And I'm going to have to return this too. Some people say they really like it. Like, I think it was Lizzie. What would Lizzie do? She really likes these two foundation, but she has oily skin, so it might work for you if you guys have oily skin. But I have dry skin, and these cling to the worst spots on my face, which is right here. So I just don't like it. This is, like, probably the least favorite foundation I ever encountered. I probably hate it more than my L'Oreal Pro, Pro Matte Foundation. But, yeah. All right, so that is it for this review of foundation. I really hope this video helps you decide if you want to get this foundation or not. Like I said, it didn't work for me. If it did work for you, let me know what you did to work to work it out because I've been trying so many primers. I even wore it to work and throughout the day, my face was just... I just don't even want to talk about it. It's like the worst 
foundation that I've ever encountered and I'm very disappointed so please leave a comment of any tips and tricks you guys know if you guys have dry skin and you guys like this foundation but other than that I'm gonna return it I'm sorry if I'm a little bit harsh on this foundation review I know my L'Oreal Pro Matte foundation was also a bad review and I didn't like it at all and this is another bad review so hopefully you guys you know enjoy this video and hopefully if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Like I said, if you are interested in this tutorial, it is down in the description box below for you guys because it's a nice purple tutorial. But now I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.